welcome to Purposely Design. I pray all is well with you. Um, today I just kind of want to talk about some things that the Lord had given me. Um, first let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord God, for your will, your way, and your word. God, we thank you, Father, for opening up every ear to hear, every eye to see, and every heart to be receptive to your will and to your way, Lord God. Thank you, Father, for opening up our minds and enhancing our minds, oh God, giving us understanding, revelation, and knowledge, and truth. Father, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing in this hour. Thank you, Father, for giving us power, love, and a sound mind on today in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we're forever um, give you praise, honor, and glory for what you've done and what you are already doing. Right, what you're doing right now in Jesus' mighty name, we give you the praise, the honor, and glory, amen. And so, today, um, I just wanted to talk about you know, um, there was, there was a question, and there was someone that were talking about, um, when God shows you something, it, you know, how. It's not always good to release everything that God has shown you. And you kind of got to allow him to lead you and guide you on what to say and what not to say. And um, what I've learned, I was I was questioning, like, why would God show us something if it wasn't time to share it? And then I realized sometimes he shows us things for understanding. And I'm not talking about if he shows you something when it comes down to people. But more so, I'm thinking about more so, uh, and, and, and it could include people, but primarily, you know, things that's going on in the earth and different things like that. And why would he show us stuff if, if it wasn't time to share it? And so I, I realize, okay, sometimes he's, he just wants to give us clarity or understanding about something. <coughs> sometimes it's something that we've asked. Like, you can ask God, you know, why this? And then he shows you. This, oh, that's why. Yeah. Or sometimes he might just show you something regarding even like I was saying with it when it comes down to people even when it comes down to that person <coughs> excuse me because he wanted to um show you why you know maybe even this person acts the way they act or do the things that they do and another thing I wanted to talk about was how we can tend to be so quick to talk about something regarding somebody else's gift or somebody else's calling and that ain't it ain't your division it's not the administration that God had placed you in but we tend to judge According to our knowledge, according to where we are in Christ Jesus, not realizing that, wait a minute, this is where they are. This is, this is their expertise. This is, you know, where they have been called to. You know, we have different gifts, different operation, different administrations. No gifts are the same. And so, I can't put my mouth on this person's gift. If God didn't call me to that. And if he did, say for instance, um, I say something about a prophet. Um, that prophet, their journey, their gifting, their their um where they are in Christ Jesus may be in one spot where mine's, my journey may be in a whole nother direction. And so here I am judging something 
he told us, yes, you shall know them by their fruits. But he also told us to judge righteously. And a lot of times we looking at fruit and you think it's rotten, but on the inside it's, it's clean. You know, it's not appearing to be what you think it is because it don't look like it's ripe. It don't look like it's good. It don't look like, it looks like it's molded on the outside. Maybe it don't look good on the outside, but on the inside, you know, God judges the heart of man. He, he, he looks on the, the inside of a person. We looking out on the outer outside. That's why he told um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees to clean first the inside of the cup so that the outside will be clean also. Because they looked clean on the outside. But the inside, what the inside look like? And my Bible says that the inside was like, you know, dead man's bones, of course. Uh, so, anywho, first, clean the inside so that the outside can be cleansed, also, okay? But um, I wanted to go to that scripture about different administrations. And it's in First Corinthians, and we're gonna go to the twelfth chapter. Um, we're gonna start with verse one. It says, "Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant." You know that you were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man, speaking by the Spirit of God, calleth Jesus accursed. And that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. And then here he breaks it down. In four, verse 4. Now these are diversities, there are, I'm sorry, diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of ministration, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But... The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another, the workings of miracles by uh, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another that uh, diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the same self same spirit, dividing. To every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and have many members, and all members of that bo- that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. So also is Christ. So sometimes we're judging wrong according to how God deals with us or how God dealt with this person or that person, what we've seen already. But what about the things that we have yet to see? 
And the only reason why we haven't seen them is because those haven't been raised up yet. There's people who have uh, gifts that you've never seen before. And so we got to be careful for nothing when it comes down to judging. But in all things through prayer and supplication. So we have to pray about everything. Stop just going off and saying things when, unless the Lord gave it to you. Even Jesus didn't judge anything by of himself. You know, how the Father, what the Father said, that's what he said. How the, what the Father showed him, that's what he did. And that's how we ought to be. You know, that's that man's race. That's that woman's race. Now, if God tells you, now there's sometimes there's this, it's just plain. And, and the spirit will let you know. No, nah, that ain't me. But times where it don't look like it can definitely set you off. You'll be going against something that is because you haven't seen it yet. Make you want to say, hold up. I don't know about this. Is this real or is it realistic or is that right? Is it even righteous? You know what I mean? It's You'll be judging, misjudging things. Well, this is how fruit's supposed to look like. That don't look like fruit. Oh, it's still fruit. It just ain't the fruit that you used to. Oh, you just ain't used to it looking like that. You go to certain places. Um, take bananas, for instance. Um, the real bananas got seeds in them. Most fruits have seeds. Well, supposedly all fruits have seeds. I'm put it like that. So some things, you know, don't have seeds and that's why they're not considered to be a fruit. But you have to judge according to the Okay, Lord, whatever your will is, I just want to be, I, I want to judge righteously. Uh, I want to make sure, is this aligned with your will? And if it does, let me shut up. When it comes down to things like prosperity, and this person is a teacher in prosperity, and they begin to teach or they begin to say things. I know when to speak and when not to. Why? Because, yeah, that may, sometimes it just ain't for you. It's honestly. Sometimes it's just not in your tax bracket. Sometimes it's not, it's for somebody, for one person, it could be a challenge. For another person, it could it ain't that big of a challenge, you know what I'm saying? So when they start speaking certain things, it would be a challenge for you to do that. So you you get upset because you can't. And that's not how we're supposed to roll. You, you can't get upset because you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can pray and say, Lord God, put me in a position where I can do the same thing. I want to be able to do that. If that's your heart's desire, you know, I wouldn't, um, if he's testing you to test your faith and saying, give it anyway, and you, you have it, but you really don't have it to give, then obviously he's got something else, another, you know, he's got provision for you. He's already made it to where somebody else is going to bless you. So yeah, it's okay. You know, um, but yeah, sometimes, you know, you listen to these, to certain, um, ministries or ministers and, and don't agree because you don't, you're not walking in that person's shoes. You know what I mean? You don't, 
understand their call. Their call ain't your call. You know, the, this person say, well, I'm an evangelist. And this person say, I'm an evangelist. Well, this person, the way this person evangelizes may be different than the other person. This one person may go everywhere evangelizing. This other person may go to most places evangelizing. They might, instead of in person, they might go online and evangelize. You know what I mean? This person may go in just churches and evangelize. Some people may go to the streets. Uh, and and you can't say this one's wrong or that one's wrong. That's their calling. That's their division. And as long as they roll with the Holy Spirit, they're going to be all right. The problem comes in when when people become busybodies and it's busy in somebody else's business. That's not my business. You know, some things I learned, this guy's business. You know what I mean? That's for him to check that person. Unless he tells me, I ain't saying nothing. I'm going to pray for him if I feel like, okay, this is not. And if, you know, sometimes we can think this way and and want to pray for this person and God turn around and say you need to pray for yourself why because you're not seeing it how they see it that I didn't did I say anything about that if he ain't coming against it why are we you know what I'm saying if 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 he says it's wrong then it's wrong and that's the problem we see things through our own lens and not the lens of the Father. And so we have to see it through His lens. Lord God, what are you saying to me? You know what I'm saying? And see what He's showing us. And um, judge accordingly. Not so much self-righteously. You know, because it's a lot of that. Too many people feeling like they right and everybody else is wrong. That's not necessarily true. Say what he tells you to say. Do what he tells you to do. And you'll be all right. That's uh, this is just how I see it. Okay, as long as I'm doing what the Father tells me to do and I'm saying what he tells me to say. I'm going where he called me to go. I'll be okay. But when I get off course and I start doing me and I start speaking out of turn, speaking out of my own self, speaking, you know, saying things that I should not say, then, well, you know, I'm, I'm not right. And so I need to go back and repent. Lord, God, help me. In Jesus' mighty name, I need your help. Help me to get things right with you. Help me to do what you called me to do and help me to say the things you have for me to say help me not to get into myself and speak out of turn and say things that you didn't say you know hold my tongue and don't allow me to say anything outside of you if it's not your will for me to say or do don't allow me to say or do it don't let me Walk around here saying the the Lord told me to, or the Lord said for me to say, or the Lord, you know what I'm saying, and He ain't He, he ain't called me to do that, or you know, going and just checking everybody. I I'm too busy trying to run my race, the race that God have been set before me. He set this race in front of me, and that's my focus, and so. You know, that's that's pretty much where I want to lead it right there is focus on your relationship with the father. Focus on what he's called you to do, because what he called you to, he'll get you through. But we got to focus in on our relationship, not so much on everybody else and what everybody is doing and, and what they ain't doing. It's not. Not about all that. It's all about us seeking first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and everything else being added. You know, not 
seeking the things, but seeking him. You know, not seeking him even for the things, but seeking him, period. You know, it's, it, why, would, why would we, okay, so Father, you say you supply all my need. Not just will you supply the need, but you said according to your riches, your riches and glory, not mine. And so if, so I don't have to worry about my need. And I don't have to focus in on that, but I have to focus more in on you and what you have for me to do. That should be my focus. That ought to be our focus. Not pleasing people, not pleasing man, not trying to to go and go about things on our own and think, you know, think things and and react to things because we think it should be this way or should not be. But just get focused on, okay, Lord, what what you have what do you want me to do? How you want me to do it? Where you want me to go? What do you want me to say? You know what I mean? How you want me to live? You know, am I supposed to be here or where would you have me to be? You know, and uh, just allowing basically the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth, like He's about, like His word said He would. You know, that's His job. Otherwise, He will stand there and laugh at you because you ain't listening no way. Not listening. A lot of us, we say things out of turn because we talk more than what we listen. Some of us just just be talking, Lord, have mercy. And, you know, I, I had to pray, Lord, God, help me. Help me to listen to people. When they talking to me, when they, when they have a need or um, they're trying to express themselves, Lord, God, help, help me, first of all, to have patience. Some of us, our patience have run dry. We ain't got no more patience. That's why... It's hard for you to deal with other people because you, you don't have patience and you need to be praying. And Father, help me. Give me more patience. Lord God, you've been long suffering with me. Help me to be able to long suffer with others. You know what I mean? I mean, my God, sometimes I know it can be draining at times. Yes. You know, people, boy, they can, you know, but. Our focus, where's our focus at? Are we focused on that? Or are we focused on the Father? Are we focused on these things? Are we focused on the will of God? Where is your focus? And I know I just got to talking about focusing, but I'm just saying that's this is a major part. You know, minding my own business, running this race that's in front of me, you know, not trying to. Build on another man's foundation, not trying to, um, as that person is racing. You know, that's what it reminds me of. Um, we racing, we running this race, you know, the, and, and as we're running, that person is so distracted by that other person. They ain't got their eyes on their own race. <laughs> you too distracted by the other person and how they running. Well, well what about you? Now, the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastics 9.11, and I believe when you see 9.11, I believe it's some mercy. You need to know this. And this is saying, I returned and, and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But, and this is the but, time and chance happeneth to them all. It's not about how fast that person's going. It's not about how much knowledge you think you have or even understanding, okay? 
It's not about your money. It's not, it's not about none of this stuff. What is a, it's about staying your course. You know, like some people say, stay in your lane. And, and in my lane is what's before me. My lane ain't judging your lane. My lane is too busy with the things that God got me doing so much so that I'm not worried about what you doing or what you ain't doing. It's not my business. And I I pray that we can get to that place where instead of us putting our mouths on people, we we just pray, pray, pray. And I mean, honestly, we staying in prayer. The more we in prayer, man, the more we'll see, oh my God, there's some things about me that I need to pray about. I need God, God, I need you to work on me with this. Lord, my heart, help me, Lord God, any, any bitterness, any root of bitterness that's in my heart, Lord, take it away from me. Soften my heart. Give me a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. Don't allow me to have a, a stiff heart, or even a stiff neck. I don't want to run around here with all this pride and and thinking I'm all this and I'm all that. And that to a place where you will have to humble me. You know what I'm saying? Help me to be meek and mild. Help me to stay humble. In the mighty name of Jesus. And continue to give me patience. That's why I said, Lord, keep me on the potter's wheel. So that you can work those things out of me that need not to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to be on the potter's wheel. I want him to continue to mold me and shape me. And make me in the image he wanted. He already has a masterpiece in mind. And so I am, and I know in time. I'll be what and who he says that I am. The way he designed. His design. He's able. You know what I'm saying? I got my trust and my faith in him. So many of us is so busy. Too busy. Just busy. Instead of having our mind on God and on his will, his work. His way. Too busy caught up with everything else. Help me to focus in on you. Help me to to do what you have me to do. You know what I'm saying? Help me to, to go where you have for me to go. Say what you want me to say. Live how you want me to live. Be the woman of God that you called me to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's that's my desire. Not. Uh, well I want to know Pam. And I want to know Samantha. And I want to know Jamie's business. And I, I, when I find out the business. Oh, I, oh, I, I think they should have never did that. And, and this is the end. You know. We talking too much. It ain't about that. It's about you. What are we doing? You know, and and then we have to go back even to the word where he says, and such were you. Because there was a time when you too, and if the Lord opened up your closet and exposed everything that you've done, you probably wouldn't put your mouth on this one. You probably wouldn't be too quick to talk about this person's life or what they shouldn't be doing, what they should have done, how they should be going about things. You you probably wouldn't do that if you just, you know, thought about, well, such was I. Man, I did that. God, I thank you for delivering me. And if you can deliver me, you can deliver them too. And so, Father, I thank you right now for delivering them. You know what I'm saying? Or, and, and maybe <laughs> that they don't need it. You you over there looking at, looking with a beam in your eye. And they got a little bitty moat in there. 
and we trying to take out the moat with a big B. And let me just stay the course with that beam that that give me a little bit of headway, okay? If you have a if you have a beam, you know what I'm saying, Lord. Instead, you need to be praying, Lord, remove this beam. Help me, Lord God, to see clearly. Lord God, help me and remove the things that's in me out of me. I'm just saying, give me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within me. I don't want to be this way or that way. I want to be um, in the image in which you have created for me to be. I want to do the things that you called me to do and, and all that. Just as I said prior, say, be everything that you called me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word on today. We thank you, Lord God, for helping us to get back focused, focusing in on you, focusing in on your word, Lord God, focusing in on your will for our lives, not to get caught up with everything else, being a busybody. But, Father, help us to focus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, help us, oh God. Give us understanding, clear understanding of the things that you have for us to do. Help us to be so caught up in the will that you have us, Lord God, to to fulfill through Christ Jesus. That we don't um, get caught up in everything else and everybody else's business. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus just because it don't look right to us and we so distracted by that and we so distracted by them and we looking over here and we judging over there father help us to judge ourselves according to your word what you say in the mighty name of jesus lest we like paul and um you know can't even judge our own self (laughs) but but you judge us father Because you judge us righteously in the mighty name of Jesus. If we were to think about sometimes, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. Lord, we just give you the praise, the honor, and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Thank God and amen. Hallelujah. I'm just saying, you know, you go back and, and if you was, I just was thinking about this. Like, if you were to judge some of us. The Lord will have you to do some things and um, it won't make sense to you because it ain't adding up. Your money may not add up. Um, How you going to do it ain't adding up. Maybe you don't even have the know-how. But when you begin, just start. That's the thing. Like A lot of us just want to just get started and then, you know what I mean? He too busy talking and ain't even doing nothing. Lord, help us, Jesus. That's the wrong mindset. I, how I'm going to talk about you and I ain't even moving. If, I, if I'm if i going to have the audacity to talk to somebody, I, needs, I at least need to be moving. I at least need to be doing something instead of sitting around just talking. And so, Lord, help us not to just sit around just talking and help us to be doing your will not ours not getting caught up in our own selves but father let us get caught up in you in your word your will in jesus mighty name god and lord i forever give you the praise the honor and the glory for it in jesus mighty name i know i already prayed amen okay i've already prayed i know but i'm just saying Every time I think about it, it's like it's a stirring because we do. We we get so distracted and I'm just like, Lord, just help us. Help us, oh God. Stop to stop judging other people and and just stay our own course. You don't know. You know, if you really want to know, ask God. Lord, is, is they even in your will? And I guarantee you he'll tell you. And then again, he may tell you. That's between me and him. You know that your process ain't my process. Okay? What you think look 
people look bad may not be so bad. I'm just saying. So, anyways, God bless you. And until next time, amen.